G'day guys, this is Tia, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 Wastelanders video. Today we are going to be talking about the Secret Service Jetpack, again, but more specifically, how to reduce the fall damage you take, to a point where there is actually, literally, zero fall damage taken. But for this, you are going to need to be incredibly lucky. Not in-game lucky, okay, I'm talking real life lucky. You need the RNG gods to fucking bless you like crazy when crafting Secret Service pieces of armor. Because to achieve this, without it affecting your perk cards, you're going to need to roll the acrobatics effect on two of your pieces of armor. Not one, but two. For those that don't know what this effect is, it is the take 50% less fall damage legendary effect. That is a second star effect. And holy shit guys, I have two pieces that are just perfect with my pistol character. Two pieces of unyielding, take 50% less fall damage, and increased AP refresh speed. This is amazing, I'm so fucking blessed for this. It's awesome. Okay, for starters, allow me to prove that I literally take no full damage by jumping off of the highest points in this game without the serendipity perk on, whilst I'm only on one health point. Pay attention to my health and perk every time I jump. Alright, so just to confirm for this first test, serendipity is off, there is no goat legs on here or anything like that that will save me from this fall. And I do have two pieces of reduced fall damage. Like I said before, there is my chest piece, and there is my left arm. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I think I'm up high enough. I'm at one health, as you can see by my health bar. No goat legs or serendipity or anything like that is on. I'm stuck on an invisible wall, and I'm about to jump off. Let's see how I go. And no full damage was taken. To health. So there we go, undeniable proof that these two legendary effects work. I was basically on one health, I had no serendipity perks on, I had just the armor, I jumped from an invisible wall which is the highest point in the game that you can actually reach. So basically in short this is the most efficient but also the most unlikely way to achieve zero full damage. In this video I will also be experimenting with other ways you can achieve zero or close to zero full damage. So for the next series of tests, I will be jumping from a point that will bring me down close to no health when I have no full damage things equipped, so that you can compare to the following tests. As you can see in front of me, I will be jumping from this point every time with a full health bar to see what the results are for my further tests. For starters, we are going to see what happens when we jump without any full reduction stuff whatsoever. At all. None. Nada. Nothing. Okay, now we're going to be seeing what happens when Ragnar jumps off a cliff with nothing reducing his fall damage. He's as naked as the day he was born, and he has no goat legs or any other perks that would reduce his falling damage. Let's see how we go. Death. Instant death. Just like what I thought would happen. Okay, so that's what I thought would happen. First up is just the Chinese stealth suit. I will take a regular Radex so that Bird Bones is not affecting the fall damage and Goat Legs is not equipped as well, as well as no fall reducing pieces of armor. This is easy to get and most people have it for their builds. If you don't know how to get this armor, I will link it in the top right now. Let's see how this goes. Alright, back once again. Now he is only wearing Chinese Stealth Armor. That is the only thing reducing his fall damage. As you can see, it does have that effect. My uh, mutations are still suppressed and I still don't have Goat Legs on. Or anything else that could reduce fall damage. Let's see what happens. Okay, a lot of health was lost. So, but it did help. We're at 79 out of 325 health. Awesome. Okay, so not the best, evidently, but let's see what we can do to improve. Let's firstly allow bird bones to take effect and see how much it helps. This is just Chinese stealth armor and bird bones. Okay, so as you can see there's no goat legs, it is just Chinese stealth armor and bird bones being affected for our fall damage. Let's see how this goes. Bird bones was a massive help just then. Last time we only used Chinese stealth armor, we lost a lot of health. So, as you can see we've only at 247 out of 275. Bird bones is a massive help for reducing fall damage. Okay, so that's pretty good, but we can do better. So now we are going to put goat legs into the fray. So stealth armor, bird bones, and goat legs. Let's see how it does. Okay, same deal as before. Bird bones, Chinese stealth armor, and I'm going to throw on goat legs. And let's see how much this actually does help. 
go. We lost fuck all health then. 269 out of 275. Massive improvement. Okay, not bad. Now we're getting somewhere. That helped a lot. If shiny stealth armor is your go-to and for whatever reason fall damage is your biggest enemy, then this is it. This is literally the max fall damage reduction you can achieve in the game right here. These, these three combinations, if shiny stealth armor is your go. But stay tuned. Now we are going to hit the reset button and do a series of tests without the shiny stealth armor. So now let's jump again with no full reduction stuff whatsoever to see what the results again are for the reset, just to compare. Okay, so now we're going to be hitting the reset button, nothing reducing fall damage, Ragnar's naked, no bird bones, everything. Just as a refresher. Whoa, it's death, who would have guessed? <laughs> that fucking leg. So now, with the Chinese stealth suit taken off, we are only going to equip a leg with the cushioned modification. This right now will be our only full reduction statistic. I'll take another Radex to remove the bird bones effect, and I'll remove the goat legs, etc, etc. Let's see how it goes. Okay, and like I said, I'm pretty sure this does not stack. We have the cushioned effect on our left leg, like it says at the bottom of the screen. It does reduce full damage. Let's see how much that actually helps. And just so you know, cushioned is the only thing active right now. Bird bones, goat legs are not active. As you guys can see, let's jump. And it does fuck all, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, not such a great help, but I'm pretty sure cushioned doesn't stack, and even if it did, I could not get my hands on a second piece, so you'll just have to bear with that test. And I don't think many people will take this bit of advice and wear cushioned legs to reduce their fall damage. It's not that practical, but I'm throwing it into the video just in case. Now let's add bird bones and goat legs on at the same time to see how much they help whilst using cushioned legs. Okay, so as I said beforehand, we just have bird bones, our cushioned left leg, and goat legs. This is all that is reducing our fall damage. Let's see how much those two add-ons actually help cushioned leg. Massive help! 229 out of 275 instead of instant death. So, massive help. Okay, so massive improvement, but I think Chinese Stealth Armor did better there. Now, we are going to add a single piece of Acrobatics Armor into the test, so this is the most damage reduction you can possibly achieve without having two pieces of Acrobatics Armor. To recap, this test right now will include Cushioned Leg, Bird Bones, Goat Legs, and one Acrobatics Piece. Let's see how it does. Okay, and for the final test, to see what is the best, we have our one piece of reduced fall damage, our cushioned leg, we've got bird bones activated, and the goat legs perk is equipped. Let's see how we fare. And bug roll health is lost, 252 out of 275. Fuck yes. So I'm going to be doing the exact same test as before, I've just replaced my left arm with the chest piece, I'm just getting up as high as I can, and I'm going to be showing you guys that it doesn't matter how much full reduction you have stacking, you can still take damage and you can still kill yourself even if you do fall from a great, great height like I'm about to show you. But it does seem that from all these tests that the Chinese stealth armor combination does give more uh, full reduction protection than the... Um, the other combination, even if you do chuck on one piece of acrobatics on top. So the only way to truly get zero fall damage is by having two pieces of acrobatics armor on at the same time. Once you have that, you don't need goat legs, you don't need bird bones, you don't need any cushioned modifications on legs, don't need Chinese stealth armor, just two pieces of that, and as you can see with the two pieces I have, you can make it work for your build, you can get unyielding and AP refresh, you get unyielding plus one strength if you melee, or whatever the case may be. You can make it work for your build as long as it is the acrobatics 50% reduced fall damage effect. So I'm going to keep doing this for a little while, get to a height that I'm comfortable with, and I'm going to show you guys just how high you do need to get to even be able to take a sizable amount of damage with both of these, or with these combinations. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this seems high enough, and if you don't know what the hell I'm doing right here, I've found an invisible wall, I'm at the edge of the map, and basically if you walk into an invisible wall, it acts like a floor and a wall at the same time, so you can stand on it. If you have a jetpack, you can just keep climbing it higher and higher and higher. Easy. Alright, so like I said before, right now I have bird bones. 
I have goat legs, I have a cushioned leg, and I have one piece of acrobatics armor, which is my chest piece. And I'm gonna fly high, 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 and see how much damage we take. Okay, so from all the way up there, that's how much height was needed, but we still took a lot of damage. So, 63 out of 275 health lost, so this does show that even with all of these uh, effects stacked, where is it? Chest piece, cushioned left leg, oh that wasn't even equipped, never mind. But goat legs is still activated, all of that equipped, and you can still take a sizable amount of health if you do fall from high enough. Now granted, I don't think players would be jumping off of fucking height limit up there, but you get my point. Amazing. This is as close to 100% fall damage reduction you can get without two acrobatics pieces. So yeah, you know all the facts. Now I should mention that all fall reduction perks are multiplicative, except for the acrobatics legendary effect on the armor. Sadly, they are the only way to achieve true 100% less fall damage reduction. Sadly, you can only ever be capped out at 96% reduced fall damage if you are wearing Chinese stealth suit, use goat legs, and have bird bones. Which is still great, but don't get me wrong, that extra 4% fall damage can massively hurt you if you jump from high enough height. So in short, if you can't get two acrobatics pieces of armor, then the previously mentioned combination is your next best bet for maxing your reduction to fall damage. Unfortunately. But if you are wanting to use the jetpack, because obviously you can't use the stealth suit and jetpacks at the same time, then the highest amount of damage reduction to fall damage you can achieve is like 94%. This is including goat legs, cushioned leg modifications, and bird bones. And even if you add all that up and manage to get a single acrobatics piece, it still will not add up to 100% reduced fall damage, because it is all multiplicative. This will still only result in about 96 or 97% reduced in fall damage. I'll repeat myself, this is still great, but the only way to achieve absolutely no fall damage, no matter what height you're falling from, is by getting two pieces of acrobatics legendary armor. So to repeat myself one last time and summarize, you can get up to 96% reduced fall damage by using the Chinese stealth armor method, and you can get up to 94% reduced fall damage by using the cushioned leg mods with the goat legs, all of that. And then adding on a single acrobatics piece will only add it up to like 98-97% reduced fall damage. The only way to achieve proper 100% reduced fall damage is two pieces of acrobatics armor. And then if you do that, you don't even need to worry about cushioned leg modifications and the goat legs perk and bird bones. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you all know the facts and all the possible ways to reduce fall damage in this game as well as what is the best for certain situations and whatnot. I hope this guide helped you out and you learned something new. Channel members are on screen right now. As always, a massive thank you to all of them that support this channel. Also, Discord and social media are in the description as always. Until next time, I've been Tia, and welcome to Valhalla.